So this is the piece I'll be working on today. It is very plain, quite basic, but you know what? It's got good bone. So I'm pretty sure that it would be actually a pretty good little piece to work on. I'm actually giving it to my niece. It was my brother's. He was giving it to my parents to sell and I snatched it up and decided to do something with it. Cause why not? So what I'm doing here is I'm just taping off. I have an idea, but you know what? I changed my mind halfway through. I didn't love the result, but anywho. So I'm just making sure that the tape is on there really good and really stuck down because I didn't want this stain to bleed. But so what I have done previous is I've actually sanded it lightly, given a good clean, good wipe, you know, the whole jazz. But this is where I ran into problems. This drawer was stubborn and not, I knew kind of when I was sanding it, it wasn't the greatest, but let me just show you what I mean. Okay, you guys, I know you can probably hear Mark sawing in the background, so I'll speak up a little bit. See how I've stained this area here? I'm changing my mind. I don't love the color of the stain on here. So what I'm gonna do is, well, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I just got some of this, this chalk paint on sale. It was like five bucks for this thing. So let's hope it, I've used the brand before. I've just never used that color. But what I want to do here is I wanna paint this see how it goes. I think it should be quite nice actually. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I'm leaving on the edge here. <laughs> Normally I would prime something like this, but I want to see what the chalk paint does. I feel like it's going to give pretty good coverage. Not 100%. What I'll do is I'll just try maybe one side here and if it comes to worse, I will prime it. But let's hope not because I'm not a big fan of using the primer because it's oil based. Kind of messy to clean up. So yeah. Oh, here's a quick tip. Hold on, hold on. So this chalk brush um, has seen better days, yes. But you wet it a little tiny bit before you dip it in the paint. And what I might do actually is pour the paint into a container. I'm looking for a container as I'm talking to you. And I'm gonna water the paint down maybe a bit. It'd probably be a good idea for it to dry, but that's not how I roll. Let's just try this. In case you haven't noticed, I'm very impatient. There we go. Don't judge me, okay? But I can't wait sometimes to do things. If I waited, I, I don't know what. Go on to something else and I would never finish this, would? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Why didn't I take that? Well, Lisa, these things are gonna remain a mystery to me. I messed up. So this is ugly anyways, let's be real. And you're gonna be able to see it when you look back there. So I have an idea. I'll show you that after. Now, I understand that you're gonna see that. I get that. Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. I've already figured something out. But I just wanna get this paint on here, the first coat. And I'm not too concerned with the coverage because I do know that the second coat, that looks really shiny, but it's still a little wet. I do know that the second coat will cover up things even better. That's what I love about chalk paint. It's kind of foolproof, ooh, except for there. That was a little watery. Nothing to see there, folks. <laughs> see these holes right here? I'm just going to fill them. They kind of came more evident when I was painting. So I'm just gonna fill it quickly. I'm gonna just probably do a wood filler, I guess. I might as well, it is wood. You could use this as well, but I'm gonna use this. A hot little uh, non-pro tip, keep it in a plastic bag. These containers are awful to reseal and keep the stuff dry inside so they don't dry out. So I've looked at this first coat and it actually covered pretty decently, especially on the drawer. Um, but the bottom, for some reason, it looks like there's a bit of a bleed through from something and I'm not too sure what. It could have been like a tannin in the wood. It could be a stain that I didn't realize when I sanded it. Anywho, regardless. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm also not very happy with the top 
section either. So I'm going to have to bust out my primer and give it a light coat of prime. Not a big deal, really. I mean, I should have probably done this. Let's be real. I should have probably done this to begin with. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a light sand. If I had a 220, I would be better, but I only have this 120. The reason why I'm sanding this is that the primer almost gets little, I'm going to say air bubbles in it. So it, with a, you sand it with a very light grit sandpaper, it just smooths the surface quite nicely and the paint goes on like butter after that before I give that second coat of the chalk paint. So wait do you guys see what I'm doing here. I thought it was kind of neat. So I am using these sticks as just a guide to put the painter's tape down to give me a space to do what I want to do on the top. So here's a little tip actually. When you are painting over any colors really and you use painter's tape use the original color first so i'm using the pink to kind of seal down the tape or if then there's any bleed under like under the tape then the pink will bleed under the tape not the black chalkboard paint that i'm going to put on the top right cool idea hey how fun would it be to just write little reminders on the nightstand or little quotes or poems or whatever scribble signatures whatever you want to do you can draw on it and erase it so now i'm going to be real with you here i have had this chalkboard paint for probably like 10 years and i'm not even kidding is why i'm going to stir the heck out of it but i've already used it probably a few months ago I guess it was and it actually turned out perfectly so I thought why not give this a whirl and let's hope for the best yeah so I didn't go out and buy it is what I'm trying to say specifically for this What I'm using here is scrap booking paper. So it's like a 12 by 12 sheet. It's quite thick, but actually the Mod Podge sticks quite well to it. A lot of you know already about Mod Podge. I'm just lathering up the Mod Podge on this. It's very much like a white glue if you want to compare it to something. It does hold, it is quite sticky and it will hold the paper down, but also give it a nice clear coat over top of it. So it kind of protects it from any water or any kind of other dust and things like that somewhat <laughs> Another tip is, you know what, get a really nice brush for Mod Podge. It's water-based, so you can actually wash it out quite well. Um, I use an angled brush, a little tiny angled brush, artist brush. I think it was like from Walmart or the dollar store, so it wasn't overly expensive, but I just take care of it and it lasts me forever.
that should do it. Just base already had nails in it, so I'm just gonna use the exact nails that I have. I'm just using different holes though. Um, yeah. Going old school with this hammer. When I was taking the tape off of the inside of this drawer, I noticed that it was pulling up the cardboard of the drawer. Ah, so anyways, more Mod Podge. Actually, I did use white glue for this. I stuck down some very thin wrapping paper, to be honest, and it stuck quite nicely. And then I put a clear coat over top of it, Mod Podge, and same thing. Cute, eh? So this glue was so old, it was like a marshmallow. <laughs> so I just took a paper towel instead of me trying to wipe it around with my brush. I just essentially just wiped the inside of the drawer with the marshmallow glue. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so you will get notified every time we post a new video. The Yo-Hoes! Huh! Maybe not. Huh! Dang, that's heavy. Graceful as always. <laughs>